Peter Evans is here with the Ferrari Cloud. I tell you what, this is a beautiful car. Oh, they are. All, all Ferraris are oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah this they're is all special. Absolutely. What's, uh, what's the make and all that sort of thing? Uh, it's a 1989 Ferrari 348 TS. Yeah. So it's the first year of the 348 series. How long have you had it, Peter? Oh, six or seven years now. Is that right? Yeah. It's a beautiful shape. Eh? They are fun to drive, you know. If, if, you, if, you're, if you're a driver, you enjoy driving. This yeah. is the F1 brought to the street. Is you, that right? you got to love it. Um, how many members of the Ferrari Club now? Uh, I think we're upwards of 60 members. We've got a good 40-some-odd cars in the club. Yeah. yeah. Always looking for more, though. Always looking for more. Owners and non-owners alike, you're always welcome. Is that right? A lot of people who don't own Ferraris but would love to are just, in the club? Just people that enjoy the cars, yeah. yeah. We've got lots of room for everybody. Yeah, and, you know, uh, when it comes to car enthusiasts, I know uh, you enjoy a lot of different cars, but when it comes to Ferraris, this is it for uh, for a lot of people. The first time you get behind the driver's seat and you've got the keys in your hand, you're going to have a smile on your face you haven't had in a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> are they uh, are they easy to find? Uh, relatively easy. It's just a, it's a question of price point. What you have to watch with these cars is they're very expensive to fix. That's the key. Oh, you have right? to do your homework. Now, I would guess that, um, you know, here in Little Italy, with all the Ferraris that come down, because you have parades and you get involved in events, right? You well, the annual festival we have every yeah, year down exactly. here. Yeah, exactly. Is there a place in town that actually knows what they're doing when it comes to repairing Ferraris? Well, one of our members, Pantuzo, yeah. has, has, a, has a shop, and he does a lot of work on Ferraris. It all depends on the model. The more modern ones are computerized, yeah. and they, they, you have to go to Montreal for those. They're yeah. specialized. Because we don't have those computer chips here. You don't want to make a mistake. No, no, yeah. and that's the thing, eh? yeah. and it's true about any car, but especially when it comes to a top-end sports car, you don't want to mess around with it. Well, this, modern electronics, there, everything needs to be computerized now, and if you can't read and write to the car, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Mm. So there's some things you just don't want to play with. Yeah. The early ones like this, this you can work on. See, you can I, have I would much rather, I, not that I would, you know, would turn away a brand new Ferrari, but Hard to have to something no. older and <laughs> something older and you know more and classic sort of uh, vehicle. To me, that's uh, that's what you want. Yeah. Have. Well, and it depends on the lines you're looking for. If you look back at the Tom Selleck 308, that's you, right. you can't beat the lines on that car. Even today, what 40 years later? I know. They're gorgeous. Yeah. They're just gorgeous. I love your car, Peter. Thank, Thank you. Th I thanks for coming that. down to see us. Nice to see you again. Uh, Peter's with the Ferrari Club here, uh, Leanne. Um, one day we're gonna have to, you know, get get on board, get ourselves some Ferraris, and go for a spin. What do you say? <laughs> yeah.